Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Ride to Riches series. We're back on Woods to finish this up. Well, return to favor to finish it up. Hopefully, we can do that today. We are actually very lucky. We got the little spawn that we actually wanted to get. And hopefully, everything goes to plan. Are you ready? Uh, I'm going to, as usual, keep the scab boy alive above us so we can have early warning detection. And I uh, have a feeling we may run into some plea people on the mountain today. Just have that feeling. Early morning today, it's not nighttime for me. It's like 10 in the morning, so complete opposite of what I normally have been filming at. Let's get ourselves up here. And get all settled in. MDR was not my first choice, but the insurance hasn't come back yet for the other stuff that we lost. So no AUG today. Going to save up and wait for that. But this is what we're bringing in today. No backpack, because my focus is on kills. And if we end up killing someone, well, we'll just take their backpack. And we'll go from there. But I have a feeling someone may actually come over this direction, so I'm going to get set up. Get ready for them. And hopefully, finish this quest up today. How many kills do we need? I'm going to quickly check this before they get to that location. I need four more. I couldn't remember if I need five or four, but four more kills. And then we are good to head over to the next objective. Nothing just yet, but we're gonna just kill a scab and kind of hang out above here. I heard some shots over at the lumber camp down below, so maybe they'll come this direction. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna give you a quick look over on the side here. Now, I don't know whether or not we have to be out of the next raid to get the supplies we need for the next part of the quest. I'll have to see. I'm not really sure how that works, but... Um, I'm sure the game will obviously give us some information afterwards or read the wiki, but I haven't gotten that far into the quest yet because I've been focused on just getting the kills done. But um, yeah, after we finish like this, like, like I said, I want I want to give you guys kind of an update. Once we finish up these last four kills, we have to do either I think it's planting a few documents over at the USEC camp. Um, two different locations inside there, so it should be interesting to see what exactly we got to do. Jump over here been very very quiet i don't like how quiet it's been though Just checking to see if anyone is walking around be nice to get lucky and see someone path around here that's pretty much why i've been coming up here but nothing else has been going on a few shots here and there no one has yet to come from the top there, or the top of the mountain, so I don't think we're going to get lucky with that part of the kills. I pretty much just got to hope that someone, like, paths around me or, like, try to come up here. Which, if they do, well, I mean, I feel like we'll have a chance. But unfortunately, it's been very quiet. This may be just an early morning, just, like, relax, get, get the, uh... Blood flow and get ready for everything, people coming at us, and then we'll have to come back in for the next raid to make it happen, but I'll keep an eye out. Let you know if anything happens. Oh. I didn't even hear that guy come up and just it was there. Did I kill him or is he alive? Oh, I got him. I got him. He's dead. Wow, that dude was silent. I didn't hear him at all. He's like my twin. He's my literal twin. Look what he's wearing. He's my twin. <laughs> Other than the uh, the armor he's wearing, well, for the most part, nice. Okay, I had a twin apparently the whole time, and no one ever told me. Some M80s. I will take your food though. I also hurt my legs a little bit falling down, but yeah, that scared the heck out of me. Mostly because I had it on single fire. <laughs> I was like, well, I could tap if someone's like up on the hills or something. That scared the heck out of me. Let me heal up my body real quick since he's got one that's full. We'll just take his. 
this cell over here. Definitely a very popular outfit, it seems. Uh, okay, we dropped that one. Take the good one here. Well, that's one. Three more to go. I wonder where he came from. He may have come up from up top, or he was just traversing around. No other sound has been made since then. But now it's making me paranoid. Like, who else is up here? Because I have yet to uh, hear anyone, like, climbing up like that. Right, did you have a flashlight on yours? You did. Let's see if there's anything small. Since I didn't bring a backpack, I kind of have to be careful when I grab. It's in a lot of space. Alright. Well, we'll hang out for a little bit longer, see if anyone else shows up, because that was unexpected, to say the least. I haven't heard anyone else since that guy, so we're going to get the heck out of here and go. Oh, gosh, I'm going to break a leg. Yep, I'm breaking legs again. I meant to travel that way, not down here. Uh, it's going to plan. It's going to plan. But yeah, we're going to have to come back in and... Hopefully the last three kills relatively soon. Oh. Down here. It's fine, it's fine. Just don't break a leg. We'll be okay. But I made this time go over to like try to stay up here on the top section of the mountain. Well, like, it, it really just depends mostly where we spawn to. If we don't spawn here or we'll spawn on this side where we can get up there, then we might as well just go back where we've been sitting. It's worked out for the most part. We've had only a few incidents where instances where it didn't actually work properly. So we will definitely give it our best chance. Luckily though, I I, uh, I was able to get the kill there. I honestly thought we were gonna die because I realized that we were on that single fire and that was it was awkward to say the least. I'll try get get out of here without actually using up our meds. No one's gone for the vehicle yet, so we are looking good on that, at least. Head over in this direction. Seems clear. It is getting, uh, like, closer to nighttime, though. We came in at, like, 1700, so... I want to get out of here before it gets, like, pitch black. By the time we get out of here, it should be around, like, 8 o'clock in the morning for the other time. So it'd be like perfect time for us to get ready for the next run. If I can run to people like him one more time, like three of them. Give me a team of three. I'll take I'll take them on. I'll I'll do a cool one one v three. I think I can take care of that. I probably could. This direction. We got nothing. Oh, also, there's a random random thought. But shout out to. Tarkov, uh, or Skip for Tarkov Arena for shouting me out on, on their Twitter. We got one of our videos up there, which is pretty amazing. It was basically talking about the new map and then removing tier one from Arena. So, thank you very much. That was very cool of you guys to, to, to feature my video in there. Very, very, very cool. More content coming in the way if you're curious. Head over here. Just a scab, okay. This bag looked weird for a minute. Trying to figure out what that was. I guess now that this... Now that the metal's here, I guess I don't really need to, like, move. But before, I like, you only had this little tiny structure here to hide behind. It wasn't very good to hide. But this isn't too bad now. I can kind of work with this. On that side. Yeah. This is why, mainly why though I'm leaving, is because it's just too dark. I, I cannot physically see anyone coming towards me. So it wouldn't be worth it. Even if there was someone left on the map and trying to like locate them below the mountain, it just wasn't going to be worth it. I think we're going to be in the clear here. Plus the nice thing about like leaving through this vehicle so many times, we're getting a decent amount of rep for it. 
we're looking pretty top on that. I wonder how close we are to 6.0. I think the last time we checked, we were at 4.9. I'm quite certain. I don't know. We're at something, but we're looking pretty good. But anyway, let's get right back into it. Oh, we got a bit of a trek ahead of us, but this should be fine. We'll be coming in from kind of the side I was hoping for, so let's get moving. We got some killing to do. We got somebody near us. Oh, it's a scat. Wait, did he not die? Or actually, no, I think I just heard his body fall. I was very confused there for a minute. I'm like, oh, I'm clearly hearing somebody near me. Almost to our location. We gotta go a little farther up this hill. Very, very quiet though so far. I I do agree though with a lot of people do say that I think we've reiterated this like earlier on in the the season, which I, I like the idea of having suppressors harder to find. Cause you do, you get like a lot of lack of fighting going on. It's, you just can't under you can't hear where people are at. But I feel like yeah, you make them a little harder to get your hands on and you got a lot more action because it's a lot louder. The whole time you're in, inside the map. Maybe one day. Maybe one day they'll do that. Oh, I think we got Mr. Sherman. Yeah, we definitely got Mr. Sherman here. Let's get over here. We got somebody to our right at the... the either the village or the little camp here on the right. The lumber mill. Get on top of this hill as soon as possible just to add the advantage point. Plus, I can't shoot any of them anyway until they get over. I mean, I can obviously, but for credit for the quest, they have to be over here. Check in front of me. Don't need me running right into somebody. There's like a spawn just on the side of the mountain, like where we spawned last up, uh, last raid. And there's a spawn right here that camp. There are a few people that could be very close to us. Actually, I got to angle up a little higher because this hill is pretty, pretty steep. So they're higher up than what I'm thinking. If there's anyone here. Seems clear so far. Gotta check the side of this rock. And I think we're clear. Oh, the faster you can get over here, the better. Because then you don't have to worry about accidentally missing someone. I saw a head there. Quite certain it's a sniper scab, but... No chance it isn't. Let's get ready to fight. Get no one below us. I don't see anyone inside the valley. Alright, I am gonna make my way down there actually. Unless I can do this. Let me climb up here first. Hopefully I can get a, a, like a view on this person. Which of course I can't. But I really do think it's just a scab sniper. Wait. No, I will I will definitely get killed if I do that. <laughs> Let's go down the normal way. I'm already gonna break a leg doing this as, as it is. Don't need to be breaking any more bones. Yep, there it is. There is the breakage. Let's get that fixed. I did actually remember to buy some more splints. That could be one of those things where you can always forget to buy it, but I remembered. And we got, oh cool, did I forget to drink? No, I brought one, okay cool. So we got Mr. Bobblehead. And a few more smaller things. Uh, we'll just grab one. 
Okay. Maybe we can get eyes on Sherman. I mean, it's not going to matter because I don't have an M700. So even if I got the kill, it's just XP basically. But not the worst thing. I always like doing a little bit of XP, you know, while we're doing these type of things. I'm going on the faith that this is a, a scab instead of a player. Oh, it was. Uh, hello? You want to die? What the heck? Actually, don't pop that. What are you made of? I'm pretty sure you're using SVDS, but... Excuse me getting shot about a hundred times, but did not expect the scav sniper to take that many bullets. Come on, let me up. And up here too. But I can actually heal in, in peace for a minute. <sighs> but yeah, if Sturm is down there, we'll try to get the kill. But then again, it could have also been the sniper scav here. The sniper scav had an SVDS, so Sturm may not even be down that direction. Either way, I have to take a look, because if I can find a player, maybe, you know, get them to come this direction versus staying down there. Entice them to come our direction. But before I do it, let me actually load up this gun. Get the rest of the bullets put into it. I like the MDR. I do, but I gotta get used to it more. I don't use it very often. I think if anything, I've used the five uh, five five six variant more than I've used the seven six two variant of it. So that could be why I'm like wanting to shoot a lot farther than where I, where I am. Let's jump over here. I did the non jumping thing again. Let's attempt that one more time. Take a look over the ridge. We definitely heard shots down there. But I have no eyes. Alright, it's clear over in that direction. I know there are players in this map. Where they're at, I'm not sure though. That was pretty far away. You know what this game needs? Binoculars. I would love some binoculars so I don't have to waste my arm stamina every five seconds. Just give me a good old pair of binoculars so I can look out in the distance. And actually be able to focus and not have to be like, huh, uh, my arm stamina, I can't handle it anymore. All right. Sadly, we're back to the old waiting game. So I'll bring you guys back when we hopefully hear something. But well, sadly, I don't think we're going to have anybody because the only thing I've heard so far is uh, someone blowing up from a mine. And that's about it. Let's get my stamina back before I start running out this. So I think we're going to have to call it for this run. Oh my goodness. Inconsistency's killing me here. I'll obviously keep a listen out if I hear anybody, but we are going to, for the most part, start heading out to the exit. Sure anybody the beat the only thing that I've, I've actually heard is the BTR pass by but other than that nothing and heal all my body parts up though because I know my chest wasn't fully healed that would have been awkward go. seems to be the best way to do this ah I only hurt myself a little bit versus breaking my leg the other way Ooh, nice I'll take that ammo I thought it was a little bit more of it, too. Let's keep an eye out for anybody who might be approaching. Although, the, the explosion I heard was behind us, where we originally came from. So, it's, it sounds like the person that was at the village 
walked around, walked across trying to figure out where he was going and blew himself up. So I was like, okay, I heard one mine, and then the second one came right by after. I'm like, nah, he did. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna be able to deal with that. Well, they're pretty much coming down from the mountain, so nothing's happened. I'm just gonna run to the vehicle extracts, which let's see if it's still available. It is. I'm gonna take that. See you guys in just a second. You know, at least we've got the the chirping birds in our ear. Gives me something to relax to while we're mindlessly coming to, towards woods over and over and over to finish this quest. But hey, fire the gig, right? Playhouse keeper wants it done. We'll do it. All right, he may he better have a good reward for us, but <laughs> we'll do it. We're just going to head right straight over to the mountain. We have to be careful, although there is that spawn that's like just to our left. Don't need to be getting caught off guard here. Did I just hear him? It's hard. It's going to sound weird, but it's hard to distinguish my squishy feet with someone else's squishy feet. It's as, as weird as that sounds to, to say and also to hear. <laughs> I don't know, I thought I heard somebody. I don't know if I get shot in the back in a minute. Let's get moving. Trying to beat the person that spawns right next to it. The problem is, it depends on what they're doing. If they're, if they're doing a quest that's like on the other side of the map, then I'm never going to catch them, but... If they're specifically going to the mountain, then we actually have a chance for this. Come on, come on, give me some luck. Some lady luck, please. Get up the mountain here. Got to be careful. Keep heading to the up top. Yeah, I think it's a better idea that we're not bringing a backpack for looting or not, because if I, if I spent more time looting these like this quest would take even longer. Just trying to get in and out to get this done. I'll climb up this side in case someone's waiting. Hmm, this seems clear. Although I don't see the sniper scav. Obviously, he could... Wait. Nope, that's a tree. He could be up there. I just mean I'd be able to see him from the angle or not. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to head over there now. Might as well. It's like... So my original plan was to stay up on that side of the mountain, but then I realized, like, he could barely see anything as it is. Like trying to go up to that spot. So this would be our best bet. Plus we have a little more cover. And if someone does try to wrap around the mountain, obviously we can see them. Fill up all this stuff before we actually move along the corner though. Seems clear. Me up. All right. Oh, we got some shots. I saw whether or not the scab sniper's up here or not. Oh, scabby boy. Oh, you are here. Okay. I'm going to keep him alive. All right. I'll bring you back in just a moment. Nobody coming behind us, but Sherman is here. Get rid of this guy real quick. Let me come over here. Let me up. Not saying it's gonna be a guarantee that we're gonna see someone. Why can't I jump this? There we go. 
Oh uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing we're gonna actually see somebody, but I'm gonna try to get a higher vantage point. Maybe we get lucky with someone showing themselves. Someone below. Looks like I can just listen for somebody coming around that corner. Let's see what we got down there. Still kind of dark though. It's about like nine in the morning. It's the time I selected, so it's not like it's crazy, crazy dark. I don't see anyone down there. That way heard somebody though. Or at least German heard somebody. He was shooting like blasting at them. I mean he usually hides in the bushes or like along this wall. Like the wall of area here. I see him. Oh, there he is. Well, that sucks. I saw him, but now I don't know where he's at. Oh. It's a guard. He is on the move. Got the BTR to just stopped. I'm basically just scouting this out to see if I can locate the player that's down there. Because at some point he's obviously going to shoot. He's, he's in this general direction. I'll say that he's over here somewhere. Because Sherman was shooting at him. I'm guessing inside the blue shack or the metal shack because that's usually where people will go. But you never know. No one's gone towards it yet. Sturm. You're going to peek your little head out again. I don't think he will, but hey, you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, I'll keep you guys informed if anything happens. Well, this has been a very unproductive raid, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go try to go fight Sherman then, because I have not seen a single player, and I'm getting really bored of just sitting around waiting for people. And I know, like, I am trying to complete the quest, but I'm gonna take the other exit out. Try to get something out of this raid. We kind of have an idea where he's at, so... I'm gonna give it a try. I literally was sitting on that top rock looking down this direction for so long. And nothing's happened, so... We gotta give some type of action. Head on this way... See anybody? I, think so. I have an idea of where Sturman is. I don't know exactly where, but I think he's right behind this big rock right here. So I'm gonna try to go for him, then then deal with his guards afterwards. Just gonna creep it in. Make sure on auto. We are okay. Good. Best thing I need is to get. I <laughs> get destroyed because I'm on tap fire and not realize it. It's not that corner. I 
assuming the bush is there. Okay, so then he's gonna be down here at the other side then. But I thought I saw one of the guards sitting there too. That's gonna be a problem. Get my stamina back first. This Sherman dealt with. Yep. Let them move in closer. Let's get this loaded up. I'm not too, too scared of the guards, but they do have pretty good accuracy. That wasn't the same guard that I saw earlier, I don't think. I do not believe that was the same guard. Hey, Sturm Sturm. No red rebel as usual. Kind of typical at this point, sadly. This. Give me that key of yours. What ammo you got inside this right now? Not good ammo, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't mean to press all those buttons. Uh, let's do this. Put that there. Put you there. Nearly full. All right. Still gotta be cautious because I don't know where the other bodyguard is at. Unless he died. I mean, I maybe I'm just mis misremembering what, what the guard looked like. But I'm pretty sure that there was one more. It looked different than that. He's a full one. All that. You know, all the guns of the world, but I'm, I'm good. You can keep those other two. Oh, yeah. I think that's the guard right there. All right, let's go see if there's a Lettix in here. Yeah, it's a dead scab right there. And then after that, we can go check for the key card. Oh, camera. I always forget how big those things are. <laughs> Every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I found something good. No, no, I didn't. It's just a camera. Although they do kind of sell for a decent amount. Oh, this is a player, was it not? Nope, this is Scav. Who were they shooting at then earlier? You know what, actually? Take this, take this, drop that. I know the SVD goes for like 90,000 or whatever. That was the bodyguard I was looking for. <laughs> I was like, he's got to be around here somewhere. Yep, that was you. <laughs> Not the good stuff, that's for sure. Eat up our lunch here. Let's take this. Yeah, we'll drink this up too. The other one was using the Vepper Hunter, so I'm not going to check him. But I do want to see whether or not the key card's here. And I'll take a violet any day of the week. Whether the raid's slow or not. I got 
got some food. We got some vodka. And I think we're good. Yeah. I'll take the vodka though. I guess we'll take the food too. And that's all it is. Alright, let's get to the exit. We got a lot of shooting going on right now over here. What in the heck's going on? I'm guessing it's just a scab, maybe versus a player. Of course, now it stopped shooting. Oh, there it is. It's like ever, it's over by the village, but I'm gonna try to get to the sniper rock over here before we uh, peek over. I think it's farther back than I think. It's like over by the by the bunker where you can exit. I think Z ZB014. In that general direction. That's a scav. Maybe I get a sight on him? Oh, it seems like he's going farther back. See anyone over there? Oh. That was a scab, I'm pretty sure. That's yeah, screwed. Not gonna matter anyway. It's a little bit of XP, but it's not nothing that's gonna help us towards our quest, so. I got Sherman. That's good enough for me, because I I technically speaking need to kill him 20 times anyway, so that is another Another kill off our tally that we need to get done. A little bit of progress made, but we need to get the heck out of here, come right back in, and hopefully have enough time to find at least two, two PMCs. I want two of them at least to come to the mountain. I'll take one at the minimum, three at the maximum. I almost lost for a minute there, but I figure where we're at, right next to the mountain, we're just also next to the uh, village as well. well. Let's get moving. I gotta beat everyone to that mountain if they actually do show up this time. What I should really do is get ready for anyone that's going to come up this hill because, like I said, there's like two spawns that are pretty close to the bottom of this one. So if I can get ready for them before they actually get up here, then that'll be very good on our part. Just again, depends on whether or not they come this way. This rock isn't horrible though to kind of get a point of view of where everyone's at. I'll come up here for just a second, take a look around. Oh, I didn't make it. Make a little too much noise. We got nothing coming our way from there. Or from the left hand side, I should say. I was thinking maybe they'd come from this direction. And they may still. I mean, there's obviously a bunch of loot they can get from there, loot that they can get along here. Yep, got someone in the village. We got Sherman back again. Alright, let's get moving. We'll, we'll just keep an eye on the hill. If they do end up coming our way, but we need to get moving. A lot of potential people coming through our pathing. Sniper boy. Get him. Initiate breaking my legs again. Because we know what's gonna happen. Slide. Don't break it. Oh, you didn't break. Nice. Oh. I spoke too soon. Now I just can't break my leg anymore because that's the last of my splints because I forgot to replace it this time. <laughs> that's kind of annoying. Uh, I thought I made it perfectly. I was like, if I slide very slowly, maybe there's a chance I won't break them. I guess you could say it's kind of a good way, place or a good way to trap someone or get, and get the kill easily. Just wait for them to jump down there, like hide around the corner. You know they're going to break their legs. And then you can deal with them. Let's 
get up to our, our perch because I'm hoping that someone's gonna run around this mountain and uh, below us. Let's get my stamina. We still got the guy at the village and then someone fighting Sherman. Okay, the second top of it. I guess we could reload and get ready while we get that stamina up. Load that. Yoink! I'm not going to know what to do with myself when I won't be able to jump around all these mountains once we finish up this quest and be like, what do you mean there's no mountains over on customs? I need mountains. I don't know what to do without them. Now, question is, does Sherman die or is he alive still? It's very dark. It's like 10, 10 in the morning and it's so dark. Mm. Nope, I thought that was a person for a minute. I'm doing this so I can keep an eye below. In case someone does come to like the, like the tree line here and pushes towards my position. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's still down there. She may be able to get eyes onto him. Which, of course, I say this and then I'm like, why didn't I bring the sniper with me? This would have been a perfect opportunity. I gotta get rearranged the, my orientation here. It's typically, he'd be like right there. Like right here at the edge. Which I think he is, I, I just can't see him because of the tree. But somebody is out there though. They're not on the rock. Just gotta watch behind me once in a while. Don't see anybody though. I know this is as bad as being on the on like where the dead scavs at, but we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it for for right now. I have no eyes on this guy. Probably end up doing the same dang thing again if we don't find a player. Got the BTR coming. Should stop right there, yeah. Thought I had eyes on, but I don't think I do. Oh, good. I'm just going to get prepared in case I do actually come my way. And we'll hang out for a little bit. If I don't hear anything, then obviously we'll go for Sherman. But for now, I'll see you in a second. Today was the worst day. I've not seen anybody. I've been waiting 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, there's still people everywhere but the mountain. So I guess we're going to go for Sturm Sturm. Get another chance. Maybe another, uh, seeing a red rebel will do all that fun stuff. I'm basically just trying to go for the red rebel so we can get extra money. You know, if we in, if we do end up getting it. Because obviously we have our own. That sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks. So you gotta get ready for that path. Like, you can just keep walking. I don't want to shoot him because I want to keep Sturman where he's at. And sometimes if you... Oh, God. Sometimes if you start shooting, he'll change positions. And obviously we want him to stay right where he's at because... He should be literally in the exact same position that he was before. Which gives me a very good opportunity to get the kill. Especially considering the fact that no one has been shooting since since that first time that he started firing. And that was like 15 minutes ago. Let's get ready. 
deal with him, deal with his boys, and then we can move on from there. I don't know if we're going to have enough time for another raid or not. I think we do, but I'm not sure. Oh. Found him. <laughs> Found him. Let's heal up here. That could have been bad. Yeah, I don't think I would have actually seen him from the rocks. Alright, let's get everything healed up. Now, where's his boys gonna be? I like to go for arms, so I am gonna fix up my arm before we actually go loot him. Get that healed. Not as clean, obviously, as the first time, but still, we got the kill. That's all that matters. All right. Do I have enough for that arm? I should, actually. Let's heal up the arm fully with this. Go. Pop this. Pop this. And now the other part. Finding the bodyguards. Are they in the bushes again? Yeah, they're not in those ones. There's somebody dead there. That's the, I'm pretty sure that's the guy Sturm killed. Yeah, there's a chance that he did kill the bodyguards. I'm not Sturman. No red rebel. Got the good stuff on him this time. Got that goodness. Take that. Take the mag. Screw the gun. Oh, hello, Mr. Yellow Keycard. That's a find. Heck yeah. That makes it worth it. That makes it, I mean, it's not the best card, obviously. It's not, it's not that expensive, but it's something. It's very unexpected, I can tell you that. Nine, nine, five, some money. Oh, hello, Ledex. Roller. Good enough. Not bad. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yep. His boy's dead right there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to push you a little bit. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go look in here and see who died. Do I have a mule on me? I don't remember if I have a mule skin. I do. Now someone not dying here? I thought I saw a dead body. Unless I saw this. <laughs> Did I see a log that looked like a dead person? <laughs> Insert laughing track. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I thought I saw a player. Obviously I did not. Okay. Let's get going. We, uh, I would have to say we've got a decent amount of this raid. people near us. That's a scabby boy. Let him live. Let him live. I have no use for a man with a pistol. 
Almost at the exit here. I think what we're actually gonna do, we we actually are gonna end it here. And come back next episode and hopefully finish up the kills. I just got very excited about the rewards we got. And so I was like, I need to have something good for this episode to show other than one kill. I'd say that's a pretty darn good stopping point for us right there. And we'll come back next one. And of course, if we hear Sturman, we'll go hunting for him. But we are going to be focused again on those last three kills. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Ragnarok series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode. What you excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, make sure that you guys subscribe to the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.